Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 72 and the question is number 8. The question reads, a particle is projected with speed 705 meters per second at an angle alpha, where tan alpha is equal to half. Find the horizontal, uh, from, a, from a horizontal plane, excuse me. Find the initial velocity. So the first thing we, we, we note, of course, is all the, the, the quantities in the top right which haven't changed so far. Next, we sketch the motion on a velocity time diagram. V measured in meters per second, time measured in seconds. We draw our initial velocity vector u, which is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub y j hat. We know, of course, that u is not just in one particular dimension, but rather in two dimensions, the x and the y, so it is a resultant vector. So we need to resolve it into its component unit vectors. These are the vectors which when added together give your, your resultant vector. So this is u sub y and this is u sub x. If this angle here is equal to alpha, then u sub y is equal to u sine alpha and this is equal to u cos alpha. Like so. So what we know is that u is equal to u cos alpha i hat plus u sine alpha j hat. Of course that comes from soccer toe. I look up my videos on resolving vectors or even look at question uh, I think question 6 actually I've done that in question 6 as well. So the next thing is we need to uh, plug in what we know. We know of course that u is equal to 7 root 5 like so Alright, now the next thing is we were given what tan alpha is. So if tan alpha is equal to a half, we know that tan is opposite over adjacent. Use Sakatoa for that. Of course, just to write that down. So this tells us that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if this here is theta, then the opposite is 1, the adjacent is 2. And this, uh, the, the, the hypotenuse, h squared is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared so h is equal to square root 5 alright so what that means is that cos alpha is equal to or cos theta whatever it is you want to call it is equal to 2 over root 5 and sin alpha is equal to 1 over root 5 like so we don't need these anymore. Just uh, let's just figure this out then. So the root fives cancel, so we get 14 i hat plus 7 j hat. So is that correct? Question eight. Yes, that is correct. Next part of the question says we're asked to find its horizontal range. So we need u vast for that, so 14 plus 7. When it's at its maximum range, we know that s sub y is equal to 0. So s sub y is equal to ut plus a half at squared. So 7t plus a half gt squared. So s sub y is equal to 0 is equal to 7t plus, minus, we'll say, 4.9t squared. Plus the t because it's just easier. So we get 7 minus 4.9t is equal to 0. If two things there are multiplied together and they make zero, then one of them must be zero. And we get minus seven over four point minus four point nine is equal to t is equal to one point four two. So after one point four two seconds, it's after reaching its maximum horizontal range. So the next thing we need to do is find out what that horizontal range is. 
So S sub x is equal to ut plus a half at squared is equal to 14t because the acceleration is zero. So it's 14 multiplied by 1.42 and that's equal to 20 meters. And is that correct? Yes it is. So that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.